Meghna and welcome back to my YouTube channel Live It Up with Meghna Malik and all those who are new here please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time I put up a new video. Today I will do a tour of my kitchen. I will show you how I have kept my things in my kitchen, how I have organized my things in the kitchen so that it looks neat, it looks spacious as well as easy and handy to find the most commonly used item. See, kitchen management is all about cooking. So if you really want to reduce the cooking time, if you really want to enjoy the process of cooking, you must have a very well managed and very well organized kitchen. You must categorize your items, get rid of excess items and uh, make cleaning and decluttering a regular habit of yours. Everything should have a place and everything should go back to that place. My kitchen is very simple and basic but it's very sunny and airy, so it's very relaxing when I cook food for my loved ones. It has two uh, doors, the entry is through the dining room and the another door opens to the backyard of the house. We also have a big service window. Basically, it's a huge window, which we use it as a service window only during winters because summers, otherwise the dining room gets heated up. So I think without much ado, I think I will show you around. I will start with the door of the kitchen. Our kitchen is adjacent to the dining room and these are two kitchen door signs I have put. As soon as we enter the kitchen, we can see a wall mounted kitchen utility shelf for storage. The dimensions are 30 into 5 into 30 inches and down below is a wooden cabinet for storage. Adjacent to the shelf are two small utility racks for small jars and mugs. You can also see a 3-in-1 dispenser that holds aluminium foil, cling film and tissue paper roll. I really like this dispenser as it gives smart and modern look to the kitchen. This holder allows easy and clean cutting with two sliding blades and the ends are easy to grip every time. Let's take a closer look what I have placed on the countertop of the cabinet. I need to have plants all around me. Besides the plants is a small paper mache box that contains green tea, my hubby's favorite, some dry fruits for munching. I have placed this wooden tray on microwave grill stand I can take it and use it anytime I want. Under it is a multi-purpose serving box. I have also kept onion, potato, garlic and bread storage tin boxes. These are well ventilated with ventilation holes to keep garlic or onion or potatoes very fresh. And it also keeps the countertop really neat and the look is very smart. This wall mounted kitchen shelf is very useful as I keep cookies, toffees and ready to eat snacks here so that my kids don't have to really look around to find things to eat. You can also see some knickknacks, small decorative stuff and happy meal toys. This shelf is a perfect place for keeping all the milk mugs and coffee mugs. Above the shelf, you can see I have kept Keventer jars that I have collected over a period and I use these jars for storing spices. Well, this was about the shelf and the countertop and let's see what my cabinet holds. This wooden cabinet of mine holds the fine crockery, bone china, cutlery, bowls, jars and lots of bottles. This is such a handy place to find when we really need it. I think of my fridge as a mini art gallery. I have put lot of fridge magnets and lot of pictures of my kids childhood to relive pleasant memories every time I cook food in this space. 
how I have organized my refrigerator. I will do a separate video on it. Otherwise, kitchen video will be too long. Let's move on to the side where I have kept my OTG and microwave in the kitchen which is next to the fridge with a multi-power strip that is compatible with multiple plugs. Uh, I bake also sometimes. You can also see traditional tea or chai glasses, salt and pepper shaker and a chalkboard slate for penning down happy thoughts. Under this countertop is ample space for big containers and storage baskets. And this is how my small kitchen looks like with cabinets. We got termite treatment and pest control done when we moved in this house. Well, on the slab you will find regular stuff that is oil dispensers, pounder, water bottles, pepper crusher, etc. And on the shelf above, food containers and serving bowls. I always keep cereals and pulses separately in a cabinet and spices in another cabinet. I feel this way cabinets are also easy to manage. In the lower cabinets, I keep utensils, cooking pots and pans, casseroles, etc. I gave away all the extra utensils long back. Less stuff, less clutter. I have a prestige 4 burner cooking top which is so useful for a family of 4 especially when mornings are so chaotic. On the other side of the slab are kept cutlery items and serving trays. On the shelf above you can see few baskets etc. Towards the other end of the kitchen is the dish drainer, water purifier and my chakla balan stand. So this is the complete view of my very simple and basic kitchen. I hope you enjoy watching this video and don't forget to follow me on my FB page Live It Up with Meghna Malik and I will see you soon. Bye.